Early in the morning, about 7.15, 7.20 at the latest that I could recall, on that particular day, April the 11th, 2008, uh, I normally come over from upstairs uh, straight to my kitchen. I uh, try to get something here for my dogs, that I have two dogs, and I like to feed them something. Good doggy. Come and get it. Well, you're a good doggy. Uh, I was feeding my dogs right here, and all of a sudden, you know, turning towards, you know, the horizon, towards the house and the the pine tree, I noticed something that's uh, not out of, the, uh, something's out of the ordinary, it, uh, like a speck of uh, something dark. And I, I focused myself, and I said, I, uh, I kind of, uh, I looked at it for a while, and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. So what I did, I ran inside to my house. I had the camera, my video camera, sitting there by the TV. And, and I grabbed it real quick, because I had used it on Easter Sunday with my family. And I, I let it sit right there for a while. So what I did, I brought the camera, and, and the dog, Shuito here, he was here, as well as the other dog, and, and when I noticed the, the you know, the, the object, I, I grabbed my camera immediately, and, and I started to uh, videotape uh, from that angle, but he was grounding, he was like, ah, ah, and I said, and I just patted him, but I couldn't talk, I didn't know what to say, I, I was just speechless like they say, so what came to my mind, videotape, videotape, keep the camera going so uh, I'm out here and I'm videotaping and I'm trying to hold on to the dog and uh, when I notice the object move uh, either my hand shaked a little bit and I felt some sensation something but I, I was just too shocked you know I didn't know what was going on he looked something like round and he had something at the bottom that kind of shine but I, I couldn't tell so I got my camera and I zoomed in. That's when I noticed the top part was either going around, it looked like, and then at one time he did this. But when he did that, my camera uh, captured it, but something happened, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't keep going. And, and then the object, what he did, it, it, it went up and then it stopped. And then it, it went like this. And then it went up and came all the Omni, que culmina precisamente con esa filmación tan extraordinaria e inclusive las circunstancias que se dan al estar filmando ese tipo de interferencia que bueno rico en muchos elementos de investigación de análisis. I mean this incident here, uh, I, I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not used to this. Uh, if people say we saw the video, but where's your voice? Say something. Well, I'll be honest, I wanted to say something, but I couldn't. Even the dogs were not saying, they, were, they normally bark, like, whoa, whoa. But this time they were just, mm, like, trying to bark, but they couldn't. I had the same thing. I, I, I was just telling in my mind, quiet, quiet. That thing, like, if it was just, just sending a signal to me, like, don't move, don't say anything, just watch. And, and I had that little feeling, you know, now that's probably me. But you know what? I, I don't see that every day. So the only thing that I did, get the camera, videotape. The sky that morning had a little bit of fog and a little bit of mist. They called the dew, early morning dew. So I just got the camera. I, I couldn't focus that good. I couldn't. I could only zoom in because of my finger on top, you know. But I couldn't, you know, focus everything. So the way the video turned out was, you know, the object and, and, and the sky no clouds that morning it was just kind of foggy so it scared me uh, I mean I was scared uh, I was surprised and I said I might as well just call Jaime because I heard about Jaime he he always comes out like uh, this happened here this happened there I said if Jaime could have something to match it up and, and say I have it okay that's why I say I may come over take this video with you I'm gonna give him the cassette tape I mean he could have it I don't want it because every time I see it it just it throws me off I mean I, I just don't feel the same I mean and and, and I, I, I if it's a fake I'll just tell Jaime don't waste your time stay home 
I'll send it to you. No, I want him to come over here. I want him to film because I believe that Jaime will provide real evidence, whether from me, whether maybe somebody else is going to have a better video of the new wave of close encounters where we could videotape them. And, and don't be scared uh, because if you're scared like me at first, you say, no, no, I don't want to do nothing. Leave it alone. No. Give it to Jaime. Believe me, if Jaime knows how to deal with it, you will deal with it like me. El acontecimiento, saco el video original directamente y se lo presento a Jaime para que él mismo sea responsable de una investigación apropiada y bien adecuada. Para Tercer Milenio, Jaime Maussan desde Alvin, Texas, en los Estados Unidos. Rico en muchos elementos de investigación, de análisis, de estudio. Lugar de uno de los extraordinarios avistamientos, de uno de los mejores avistamientos de toda la historia.